In today's video, I'm going to share with you the information from the prospect of job interview preparation for shutdown planner. There are certain questions and I'm also going to talk about a certain petrochemical industry schedule in Primera Basics, the structure, the hierarchy, the logic and how to develop critical path methods. So stay there till end of this video because you are going to learn many more amazing things, right? So before getting into the detail of today's video, I would request you people to subscribe this channel so that in future, if I'm gonna make any video, you're gonna have that link on time. So out there in job interviews, there is one very famous question, explain the WBS hierarchy in your shutdown schedule. So right now, if I share with you Primavera P6 dashboard and I open WBS, basically, uh, I will just make it very clear for you. There are three phases, right? I could only share here only two phases. There is, you know, pre-shutdown or pre-turnaround, turnaround and post-turnaround. And within those, uh, you know, pre-turnaround, pre-shutdown or shutdown and post-shutdown, there are major, uh, you know, substructure level which i'm going to help you people to over here like you can see that uh, there will be equipment like within this specific uh, you know you are going to see that what kind of equipment i'm going to take into the shutdown or turnaround in this specific project there is heat exchanger there is pressure vessel and uh, within job interview you have to explain uh, from that perspective that what you are going to carry within your mindset right so here the WBS start from the unit level, Petro unit, which defines the overall boundary of the shutdown. Below that, it is divided into major systems or equipment categories such as heat exchangers and pressure vessels. I'm considering this specific project, which I have shown already on Primavera P6 dashboard and uh, keeping that project into your mind, you are explaining this question, right? So within that, uh, you know, capacity, uh, what will be the hierarchy for my WBS? First of all, it will be phase level. Then it will be uh, subdivided into major systems or equipment. In my specific situation, that major equipment is heat exchanger, pressure vessels, and uh, then each system is further broken down into equipment tags. Like there may be uh, five heat exchangers, there may be six pressure vessels. Every heat exchanger, every equipment having its own tag like I'm going to show you that you are going to find over here right and under each tag we create work package like preparation so that is our hierarchy if I am going to share you here in Primavera P6 uh, within activities window you can find these things over here right you can see that this is equipment level this is tag level and this is work package level so that is and generally if I talk about this one phase level WBS, then there is a process level, here it is missing but generally there is a unit level, there is a subunit level, okay, and there is again cost center or work package, okay, so this is the hierarchy for WBS. And uh, the next question is, why is tagging and blinding critical before starting mechanical work yes that's mechanical window is actually where you are going to start your uh, maintenance work so that is actually mechanical before uh, you know starting shutdown that is pre-shutdown then post shutdown the in between the shutdown when you are going to open up that equipment and maintenance is started that is called actually mechanical window so uh, mechanical why we need blinding you know blinding means you know uh, put some blind flange on the end of the you know piping equipment outlet inlets like so tagging and blinding uh, you know tagging and blinding uh, ensure complete isolation isolation is 100% surety to the safety of the process uh, and it is also going to prevent the leakages of hydrocarbon steam or chemical during maintenance it is key HSC control measure, right? Planners schedule it before opening any equipment to make sure the area is safe. So that is the reason, right? And then uh, how do you plan scuff folding and manpower distribution during a turnaround? Scuff folding is very important. It's going to happen around every simple equipment to save, uh, you know, uh, climbing on that equipment and all that. I create scuff folding activities in P6 linked as predecessor. To mechanical jobs yes when you are gonna open any manhole obviously uh, you know opening of that manhole or that equipment 
uh, is depending on this cuff folding. Once cuff folding is going to done there, uh, this is going to drive that complete uh, work package. Manpower is distributed based on the number of work fronts for example parallel exchangers are vessels by resource loading these activities we can optimize scuff folding teams avoid idle labor rights by standby and maintain productivity daily coordination meetings ensure scuff folding removal aligns with mechanical completion so how much manpower how many technicians how many welders how many riggers are whatever the labor is there it depends that how many uh, equipments we are going to open and for simple single equipment it is standard there we need uh, four skilled labor two technicians and all that right so then uh, there is uh, another thing the other question what logic links do you define between equipment tags in primary p6 so within each tag if you see activities follow finish to start relationship logic for example documentation once documentation is done, then scaffolding is going to start. Once scaffolding is done, then blinding, then tagging, then tools and material and completion. Between tags, I use start to start, like uh, between tags, right over here, are finish to finish, link to allow parallel execution, right? This one. Optimizing overall duration while maintaining logical constraints. Critical path is then checked to ensure all the parallel paths right then next question that's very important how do you track daily progress for multiple exchangers or vessels i maintain tag wise obviously they are tagged with different kind of tags linked to primary p6 each activity scuff folding cleaning inspection has measurable quantities uh, it's explained in a way that you know if there are multiple uh, you know uh, heat exchangers they are being segregated by these tags right so every heat exchanger pressure vessel has its own uh, you know capacity our planned duration planned uh, man hours and uh, you know keeping that thing in our mind we have to prepare their excel sheets their tracking sheets separately and then question number six which is gonna play a very important role for job interviews how do you control delays during sto when multiple contractors are working yes uh, in our project scheduling, it is very common thing when we are going to make our project schedule network diagram, things are depending on each other. If one task is going to delay, other task is likely to be delayed, right? So first I identify critical path activities and monitor them closely. If delay occurs, uh, how it going to happen in Primavera P6? So here we are. First of all, uh, go into uh, filters and identify what is actually the critical path because critical path method the activities which are on the critical path are actually the controlling activities. So if any activity out of these activities are going to delay, then project is for sure is going to delay, right? So what you need to do? So you're, you have to take care about all of these activities. These questions to be answered, you have to understand how to develop this schedule because the understanding of this schedule is very mandatory. So first of all, you need to understand this is your phase level. I will also be, please write in the comment area, uh, Primavera P6 file so that my team can uh, approach you and share with you all these concerning files. So here we are uh, at the phase level, pre-shutdown phase, pre-turnaround phase. There are milestones which are going to link with the starting of this shutdown, finishing of this shutdown, right? And then this is equipment level WBS. This is the tag number and that is the work package. These are the activities. And step by step, you can see that actually there are only two equipments which are under this shutdown procedure. Heat exchanger 1001 and the pressure vessel 2001. Under pre-phase, you can see then again there is a, there are two heat exchangers and there are two pressure vessels. Under shutdown phase, all these activities. You are going to start a work, obtaining work permit, blinding, removal of associated piping, uh, you know, channel cover channel had all these activities are part of process to make the maintenance in a safe way this is gonna be called as uh, job method uh, standardized job method right this will be given to the planner and scheduler by concerning maintenance team right so we have to follow all of these things load them interlink them and that is how our critical path method will be developed so if you want this complete XR file or PDF file right in the comment area Primavera P6 file. So my team is going to approach you and will give you this complete file in which you can you can import this file into your system 
and you can start the working and you can start even preparation of this job interview questions which can help you to clear more things so please subscribe this channel and write in the comment section area so that maximum people can approach this video thank you very much